might change, and we found out that the city of Memphis is betting big money, that, that change will be for the better. Fox 13's Jim Spiewak is live along Walnut Grove, right there at I-240. And Jim, that part of town is going to be getting an updated traffic signal. multi-year, multi-million dollar project that is supposed to improve traffic and congestion around some of the busiest parts of town, including where we're at right now, coming up to the intersection of I-240 and Walnut Grove. Drivers want a smoother, faster commute. At least Barbara Harding does, who says she spends a lot of time in her car. It seems like when I'm on my way to work, when I'm late, all the real life stops me. So, yeah. At the worst time. At the worst time. Yeah. So. A contract I found shows the city just paid Shelby Electric Company $507,000 for traffic light equipment for improvements at I-240 and Walnut Grove Road. The new equipment, which is being paid for by a federal grant, will connect to existing traffic lights to better time signals to reduce the number of stops on major streets. It would be great for me. I wouldn't have to get on the E-way and deal with all the heavy traffic. Um, it will be less accidents. This is not the first update the city has done. This map shows the 407 traffic signals already installed at major stretches of Lamar, Winchester, Perkins, Poplar, Shelby Drive, and Germantown Parkway, just to name a few. We drove the stretch of Perkins Road from Poplar Avenue to Winchester, which is part of the project. We waited for three minutes and 45 seconds at six of the 11 lights we got stopped at. It took us 11 and a half minutes to drive the 4.6 mile stretch. The project, now in year five, allows the city to remotely control 50% of the city's signaled intersections. And that monitoring is done at City Hall and the Traffic Signal Management Department. Uh, obviously, we're at a light that just turned green here, still going through the intersection in the area near Walnut Grove and I-240, but with less congestion, it can also lead to better emissions, which obviously makes the air around us a lot cleaner. I'm reporting live in East Memphis tonight, Jim Spiewak, Fox 13 News.